one thing I've learned. If you don't hold their feet to the fire, everybody gets burned. Before you start waving around that freedom of speech thing, when you're in a crowded movie theater and you scream fire, you better be able to smell smoke. You come on this radio show and you start saying incandescent things like that, you better have more behind you, pal, than just your thumb. I've been listening to talk radio for years, and one thing I just can't stand is when the host has to, like, push his way on the people, beat the callers into his way of thinking, extending his ego, or, or when the callers call in and say something so outrageous and the host lets it go unchallenged. The sign you're on the road to truth is the lack of contradiction. You want to find truth, you just don't simply believe somebody because of their authority or their degree or... You, you listen to what they say, you test it against reality, and you hold their feet to the fire. We're back and we're live. Feet to the fire. I'm your host, James Athiancic, the Black Knight of Talk Radio. We are live. I'm doing a little show here. It's actually, uh, it is Sunday night for a change. It's a little earlier, but I've been working on things in the studio. Going to start tearing everything down, so this might be it for a little, you know, a few weeks. And I, uh, I've been thinking about, I've been driving along this week and I had this whole idea they're trying to explain something, a share, share, I guess. I don't, I don't want to sound like I'm like telling people what to do or, you know, I'm just sharing how I look at things and how I understand because my goal is, is, is to have understanding. I want to know what truth is. I want to know what reality is. I want to know the real deal. I want to know what's going on, right? I want to understand things. I want to understand what's life. What are we doing here? What's, you know, is it an accident of an explosion billions of years ago and evolution and all this stuff? Or is it div- a divine creation? Did God create everything and then go away somewhere else and let us all loose to find out what's going on? And so I, uh, over the years, I've, co- I've come up with answers. I- I've come up with satisfying answers that following the lack of contradiction because what I have found is the truth is consistent. You may not understand it all the way, all right, so as you understand truth better, it becomes clearer. It's it's not that it's different. But anyway, getting off on a, a tangent already, I just started. But today is resonance. What is resonance? There's a resonance that appears in nature. There's a resonance that appears in uh, in in music, in in the physical uh, matter and spirituality and uh, in, in truth, you know, again, reality. Truth is reality, so I, I want to stick with that. Um, and I, of course, clo- I, I used the definition on the, uh, on the description page, which, of course, <laughs> I closed the definition uh, when I started this, uh, so I can't read from it. Well, maybe I can. Maybe I can. Yeah, let's give me a second here to, because uh, I wanted to read it. It was, uh, it was, it, it, I liked that. I resonated, if I can use that phrase, with the definition. Of course, we have to sign in here for this. Uh, now it's going to ask me to do all this other stuff. You could tell, uh, tell this is live, can't you? 
Yeah. I gotta click the boxes now to have stairs in it. Gosh. No, that wasn't good enough, huh? Now motorcycles. That's what happens when you use a, a virtual um private network is they think, oh, this guy is trying to hack us in or or he's doing something, so we're going to make life miserable for you so that next time you just log in and uh, not have to put up with this. (sighs) All that just to get to this screen. And it's going to be one second here. Boy, my apologies. But I want to read this definition rather than trying to re- recount it. So I don't memorize things. I get principles. Okay. So the definition of residence in physics is when a frequency of an external oscillation or vibration matches an object, natural frequency, and as a result, it either causes it to vibrate the viper causes the vibrate increases the amplitude of the oscillation. So when you uh, think of a glass in the tuning fork, you've probably all seen that years ago. When the tuning fork or the the frequency is turned up to resonate with the glass, it causes the glass to vibrate faster. It resonates with it, and eventually, when you turn it up loud enough, the glass cracks. Okay, so as that oscillator is tuning into the resonance of the glass, once it does, it will start to put energy in the glass because it vibrates inside it. And this is what the whole purpose of Earth is. Living on Earth, it's a big school to help us to learn. But our whole goal, I mean, if I could boil it all down to, I mean, we're going we're gonna to live and die here. So you got anywhere from, you know, like one year or, or you know, I don't know, a couple of weeks all the way uh, to 100, 110, whatever years of being here, and you're going to die. And that's it. That's it for the, the physical part of their life. But your spiritual goes on. And the goal of life is to learn to change your personal outlook so that your principles, your actions, uh, and the words you have are all true, they're all real, they're all into helping one another positive and so forth, so that you start to resonate to your next direction. So when you pass on, your vibrations will be lined up with the good side. And it's 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 a shame because unfortunately Christianity has lost this philosophy to the New Age and other lower vibrational type religions, quote unquote, in favoring legalistic dogma. So it, the Golden Rule, the Beatitudes, uh, so forth. Jesus taught all of this. Jesus taught resonating toward the kingdom of heaven and salvation. In a nutshell is the act of of him interjecting and interacting with us to make it possible not only to avoid the lower resonance of hell, so the saving, because a lot of, you know, most people think of salvation as a fire escape from hell. Uh, it, it The whole, that's just part of it. The whole point Jesus was doing this is so that we would grow and resonate toward the kingdom of heaven. And if you read the Bible, it talks about his stuff, but the kingdom of heaven, kingdom of heaven is all about acting and behaving and thinking and, and, and loving and doing things a certain way. Why? Because that's what happens in the kingdom of heaven. And the, for those who will be thrust out into outer darkness, it is to make it easy for some people, it talks about hell. That's hell. Well, no. There's hell. There is kingdom of heaven, and there's those who haven't vibrated to uh, to flourish in it, and so forth and so on. And so once you um, 
you when you when you sign on when you uh, sign on you align yourself with Jesus. Jesus is the answer, right? Well, what did he teach? You 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 do it, and when you do it, that is now changing yourself by you know by doing it. another example. You pick up a guitar or any instrument and you want to play it. Well, you may be able to learn where the notes are, but the only way you're going to be able to be fluent with that instrument is practice. So, you know, when you are saved, when you have salvation from damnation and all this stuff, right, that's not the end all. And this is what, unfortunately, what I see in churches now is that you're saved by grace and you then the rest of your time you're singing hymns, you're thanking God for saving you, thanking Jesus for saving you, and you're all you're so happy that you're not you're saved, you're not going to hell, and that's it. And it's not it. That's like that is the gift of grace. And now what do you do? If you Jesus said, If you love me, you obey my commandments, and so on. So what I wanted to say here is that this is a, a simple aspect of the resonance. When, when you when you start to do these things, at first, there you know maybe you have to make an effort. You make an effort to not harm people. You make an effort to not uh, steal or sneak or not lie. It takes an effort. This is the head knowing the teachings from Jesus, knowing the principles, and starting to develop your resonance with the proper way to do it. So as you continue to do things, you'll become more fluent, fluid, and more uh, uh, natural in that particular energy. Now, I'm using terms like resonance and energy, and again, the New Age has, has, has got this stuff Masonry and other things have got this idea where you you vibrate in, you meditate, you vibrate in. But the problem is that there's a lower vibration. There's a higher vibration, lower vibration. We're we're here, right? As our spirit is going to l- learn to vibrate to a different resonance, other than just being alive on Earth, right? You can resonate what I'm going to say, to a lower energy or a lower resonance, which is where the flesh, the by st- sticking in materialism, this is where it will lead into a lower vibration. Because after you die, there's no more material, right? So if you're resonating with material, you're going to be in problem, problem mode. But, you know, best case of scenario is it's going to be so foreign and understanding. You know, people have run away from God because of the the non-familiarity with love vibration and the familiarity with with you know with stealing or taking or nasty or get what you're going to do and you know so there's this when 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 this happens there's this hiding you know another thing the bible says is you know when when at the end when uh son of man appears people are going to be saying to the, the mountains cover me to hide me from this I mean, you would think that the Son of Man appears and it would be, oh, wow, there's the real truth, you know, and it'd be like, oh, wow, you might be ashamed of what you've done, but you're you're happy to see, uh, or, you know, you might say, hey, it was ignorant, I didn't know, and now I know, you know, whatever. But it's actually when, you're, when you resonate with the lower vibrations, you avoid the higher vibrations, you avoid goodness. When people get people get to that familiarity with lower vibrations as you end your life you vi- you're going to be into lower vibrations and this is where people who are saved by grace and they avoid hell you know they avoid where uh, the lake of fire as it says where the unbelievers go right but they're not going to be resonating in for the kingdom. So they're going to be they're not going to be in the kingdom of heaven and they'll they'll be sad about that and have to work stuff out. I mean, I did a whole teaching back when I was in a in a Baptist school about this even though it didn't fit with Baptist theology, I couldn't argue with it because it was very biblically based. 
And so this is what happens in a lot of churches is there's certain problems. They, they come up with their their explanation, their dogma, right? And when it doesn't match up with something that Jesus says, they just kind of just don't talk about it much. Whereas if you if you look right at Jesus' teachings and stick right there all the time, it, there it is in your face. Jesus, most of his teachings are telling people, you know, how to be how to be good and how to uh, love and help and how to deal with stuff in that positive sense. I mean, he himself having the power, having an extra human type the power from resonating with the higher energies of God, the Father, who he allowed to come in him, or however it works. I don't want to get into talk about dogma. Is that uh, he could have just saved himself? Could have just said no, and he could have. Move. I mean, you saw that the, you heard, I should say, the uh, calming of the seas and you know rising of Lazarus and all this stuff. He could have done all this stuff, but he didn't because he went along with the program because he was showing us what to do, what to do, what not to do, and don't commit to fighting back and violence and all this stuff. And he was killed and then was resurrected, which is what we all will be. You follow this thing, so. This is the part of resonating that I wanted to mention. If you look at it in terms, if you're a musician, it's going, you're going to understand this uh, maybe better. Or if you're 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 a, you're, you're a, a material scientist, uh, a physics engineer, you know, this type of uh, idea will you could see this where you're being prepared not just to get out of hell, but to actually flourish in the next level. And as, as, as it was written, uh, Jesus was talking about the kingdom of heaven. To me, the kingdom of heaven is the next level of human existence. You have to resonate. And, and, and when you align yourself, I'm, I, I wish I had better, more words to use. When you align yourself, and this is why I like the word resonate, because when you hit that resonance, the energy from the other, other side can come into you and raise your energy level. I mean, this is what happens when the when the uh, uh, the the the, the uh, oscillator is tuned into the resonance of the glass. The energy is now is now transmitted into the physical structure of the glass, causing it to vibrate more. I mean, there's nothing touching it. There's nothing hooked up to it. It's not electrical. It's the actual resonance of the crystalline structure is at that certain frequency as the setting of. So as we change our crystalline structure by following what Jesus said, doing good, helping, avoiding uh, the, the negative, stay away from flesh, you know, fleshy to lower vibrations, as we grow in that uh, uh, vibration, we will then get to a point Right, where you start feeling it more in your physical and metaphysical being because of that resonate resonance. Uh, if um, right, say say you're uh, you you have an addiction, uh, whether it be sugar or or alcohol. Right, when you stop that resonance, your body is is looking for it because it's like it's re- it, it knows how to handle that. But as you clear out the addiction, you can start to resonate with other things, better foods or, uh, you know, sobriety, and you will start to resonate with that new way of life, and you will grow and flourish in it. But you have to stay away from the lower vibration, especially if you've been hooked up with the lower vibration. Your body already has like a memory of it. It can go back easily to the old way. So when you when you put it to me when you put it in terms like this, these terms sound to be more like ah. I understand it. it's not like magic. It's not some kind of uh, things that's you can't understand. It doesn't have any sense. Well, I'll just do it because I'm supposed to, or I'm doing it because I'm told to, or I'm afraid to get punished. Well, you know, if you if you follow Jesus' teachings because you're afraid of getting punished, that's like quitting the addiction, right? It's not pleasant, 
You're not getting the benefits of the the new vibration, the new resonance, and the energy that comes down from it or across, however you want to say it. But that will come. It will come. And a lot of times when you do, when there is this conversion, a lot of people have said this, that you get a, a, a there's like a jolt of the energy because there, well, grace, out of grace, you get a taste of it, you get a feel of it. But it's like an initial deal that you have to, okay, the the seed is planted in the ground, it starts to sprout. Are you going to water it? Are you going to fertilize it? Or are you just going to ride on that and eventually it withers or whatever? I mean, all these all these things have been said. Jesus said them all. There's parables left and right, teaching left and right. The, the Sermon on the Mount is probably the greatest piece of written material in in the world all all of all time. And the Beatitudes are telling you exactly what the mindset is of somebody living in this world, what their eye and their resonance with the next one, how they feel in this world and then, but in the next one. Now, of course, people who are very happy in the uh, fleshly aligned, uh, resonating in the material world, We'll say, oh, that's, you know, bird in hands, better than two in the bush or what have you. But they have no resonance of it. They don't have a personal experience of understanding this. So, But they do have a very well, uh, long-tread path of materialism that they do understand. So when, when somebody uh, is comfortable in money and times go bad, and then they, when they lose their comfort in the money, they have nothing else to hold them up. There's no, there's no understanding that things, all things work for good for those who love God, who hear His voice, and walk in that. It, 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 if I can be so bold as to rephrase it, all things work for good for those who love God, who resonate in God's love. That everything will end up working for your good. Even bad stuff will work for your good as you go in resonance toward that. If you want to make your own decisions of what you want is good and how you want to do it, then you're resonating with the lower uh, vibration. And if you're really good at business or you're, you have a family wealth, well, you know, you know that's where you're, it's going to be based. But Jesus also said, don't lay up your treasures on earth where moth will eat and rust will, will ruin it but put your treasures in heaven where they will be there. Because when you go toward that next level, the goodness that you have done is actually working to be able to align with that, walk into that in all joy. The the more you understand the principles of Jesus and live them and resonate with them, the, the greater the joy at the transition. Now, I know people uh, who who are Christians and they hear this stuff, they don't like this stuff because, oh, I just want to be, 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 to be absent from the body's present with the Lord. Yes, that's true. But just think of this in very, very common sense. You can look at it with your kids. If your kid has a good relationship with their parents and they, uh, they, they're with them, it's a fun time. All the ones who are rebellious or whatever don't like what they're saying— they're not going to be a good time. Of course, I'm looking at a good parent, which God is the good parent, as opposed to a bad parent. <clears throat> so this, these are the the analogs of what it's what it's going to mean like. This is only one grade in in your life. So this is not all of it. It's not, this is not the be all end all. This is not everything that's that's happening. So when when we we move on, we have this 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 positiveness. And the good news is, you see, it's the resonance, again, using this word, resonance, as we go out and help other people, we're resonating the higher vibration to them. And they could be attracted to that just as we're attracted to one. You know, and their resonance can change because somebody on their own level is being nice to them. They're not used to that. You see how it's catchy? The resonance can actually be catchy. 
There's people out there who are open to this resonance, but they're not getting the resonance, you know. And so I think a lot of times on earth, local resonance could also be used to jumpstart or tune the person into a higher resonance. And it also works the other way, lower resonance. So if you end up seeking to, and right now I, I think we're in a very, very important time we're, we're nearing the end times. We're in the end times. We're nearing to the to the end. I mean, at least every time I see the what's going on in the world, all it does is confirm that to me. I mean, I don't necessarily like the idea. I mean, I like the idea of moving to the next time, next level, but in the right time. No wine before it's time or whatever that line is. So um, this is what the situation is now. If you could think of the resonance a concept of it where you are, by doing what Jesus says, first off, by turning to Jesus and accepting his, you're asking him in your life to work with you, okay? Now there's energy being interjected in you to change you, and now you walk along with those changes. If it's a fight, you're not going to get far, right? You're going to be fighting and forward, backward. It's like the yo-yo diet or, you know, you you drink, you don't drink or whatever, you know, whatever your thing is. The problem is if you go along with the program, you will uh, find yourself in a better position. Now, I just, I recently, I go through a, a, a fast in Lent, uh, just a personal thing I do. And one of the things I uh, have done is I got off complete completely off any kind of sugar. I don't pay it. I didn't, I didn't really pay attention to it. It wasn't like I was, but you don't realize how much sugar you have, (laughs) you know, until you actually look at it, right? Not only the blatant sugar, it's like, you know, out, out there in candy and cookies, but the sugar that's inside everything. Once you, once your body gets off, if I can use that phrase, like, like, like alcohol, gets off the sugar, it has to learn to burn other things like fat, convert that, plus some protein. And it's a tough time. But once you get past that time and you're now in this area where you're away from the sugar, clarity of mind, better sleeping, you get better health. I mean, I used, my knuckles don't hurt. I mean, there is, there, is a, there is a positive thing when you resonate with proper way and in in this in this case i'm using the thing as a, as a lack of sugar in particular i mean carbohydrates but in particular sugar so when you when you when you resonate with healthier food after you get past the addiction uh, breakage and whatnot it's a better thing you have a better m- metabolism your body works better you have more more energy or at least less not energy and so forth but it takes time and it takes consistent work to do it. And this is what we do when we we become less addicted to materialism and become aligned with spiritual God, love, the next level when we work toward that. And then you could see, I see this in people who are way better suited for this than me. I mean, you know, they don't get aggravated. They can, they can handle stuff. They're calm. They're this and that. And that's, not only that is a mental attitude, which is going to be bio-based in a lot of stuff. You know, if you have a bad, bad food you're eating, chemicals and, and whatnot, you, it's going to affect your brain. But then you also have the spiritual light coming through you from that resonance, which will help your physics, physical body as well. And when it is your time to die, be it from a disease or natural or whatever, you know, DNA, whatever it is, you look forward. You may, you 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 may miss your friends, but you, you'll see them again. And and it's it's there. It's funny. I was talking to a um extended family member about a loss of of of, of a spouse, and I was saying to them that uh, now I, this to me this would be a good way to align yourself for that future because if you weren't really involved in that, now you, you have an incentive, uh, a personal one, you know, 
So it, it ends up where this is the idea, if you can look at doing good, following Jesus' teachings, looking to ask Jesus for help in this process, it's like following a, uh, a holistic doctor in steps on kicking sugar and, and changing metabolism. There's a guide there. Now, that person may be able to give you some inspiration through visual talking or whatever, but uh, in, in the case of God, it, it, how he works, Jesus is the interface with us to be actually, you, you know, when Jesus left, he sent the helper to be in his place. It, it, it's a very fabulous uh, uh, verses where he says, I have to leave, but I'll send a helper. If I don't leave, I can't send a helper. And like, I don't know all that. I don't know the spiritual physics involved with it. I just accept it. And that helper has worked in my life. When you ask for help, the helper is there. It's a wonderful thing, but it's it's completely foreign to someone who isn't in that area. Once And so kind of what I'm doing is saying that if, if you change your resonance toward that, you'll feel it. And just like if somebody changes their health uh, mecha- uh, systems, they will feel the difference. And, and there's like this magnetism to it. Hey, I want to keep this going. I feel pretty good. You know, and you avoid the lower vibrational temptations of the the former addiction for the the new natural way of being. So think about think it in terms of resonance. You're on Earth not to have a good time, not to avoid a bad time, so to speak. You're on Earth to to take this. This idea of in this physical body with the various distractions and the various influences along and to take and choose the right one to and then align yourself vibrationally for the next level. And I, you know, I thank God for Jesus and what he has done. I mean, as, as a human, Jesus foregoed all the, all the, uh, 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 you know, materialism that he could have gained with his own abilities and who knows what his, uh, you know, the actual uh, family m- money might have been. I, I don't know. It was, it was. hey, we're not here for money. Give the Caesar what is Caesar's. Give God what is God. Give our attention to God. Give our love to God. Give our energy to God. Change the vibratory resonance to God. That's what we should be doing. So think about that resonance. You want and, and truth. Let me, let me let me add this in. One of the things about truth is truth has a resonance. If it's real, there's a resonance to it, and you can actually learn to discern uh, uh, truth from resonance. I I have done this where something just doesn't seem right. There's like an uh, illness, uh, ill ease in there, and there's you have to be careful because you could be changing. You could be you could be listening to your lower vibration or former lower vibration, wanting you to get back to where you were, which is more comfortable. There's a there's a mechanism in our body that says no, you go back to what you were doing. That 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 is more familiar, right? So you have to be able to discern if you're you're being told not to do it for comfort reasons, or if there's a resonance saying that this is not fit with truth right. And I've done this a lot. It's, it's, it's worked well for me when I listen to it anyway. <laughs> so so re- resonance and truth, resonance and spirituality, uh, and the if you want to resonate with materialism, you know, it's going to end in basically, basically a form of insanity because when you resonate with materialism, you're, you're, it's a death. You're going to die. Material ends. I mean, whether it be your personal life, whether it be like the earth or the sun explodes or whatever, whatever you call it, there, everything on this material plane has an end to it, and it has to go to the next level. You know, and our, our, we only have, you know, like I said, I don't know how many years it is. It's, you know, 100, give or take. And uh, this is what we should be doing. And and where, where if you look at the cover art, I have it, or I have like Baphomet on the corner. I have God up top. I have man and, and to one side and Baphomet on the other side. There's a downward draw. Now I I don't know. There's 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 reasons. There's like traditions why 
the negative side, Satan or whatever, is pulling us down, jealousy, what have you. There's a pull downward, a pull upward. Now, upward is superior in all ways, but the downward a lot of times it's more closely resonating with materialism. So it's an easier resonating to go downward in uh, in materialism and in the flesh uh, in in, in, uh, lower vibrations. That's kind of the flow. That's why when it says the road is wide, it leaves a destruction, the road is narrow, because it's kind of the normal flow, whether it be entropy and destroying of, of the system, going down vibrationally, getting less intelligent or, or less uh, fluid in physical aspects. But if your spirit has been worked on, you have that upward draw from it. And it doesn't take work in the sense to go upward. Uh, it, it takes consistency of looking up and going moving toward it. Because if you, if you, if you don't take action to try and resonate upward, you will automatically resonate downward. It's like if it's like you're on a conveyor belt. If you don't keep going forward, you stop, you go backwards. I mean, this is kind of how it is. Uh, so the goal here is to do that um, resonating forward. So, all right, I'm going to let this go with this. Uh, and, you know, God bless you all. I'll see you in a few weeks. And you know, I can also I can also pop on. I have abilities to my phone and other things to do something. So if there's really something I got to say, I'll be there. But I'm going to try and enjoy reworking the studio for uh, convenience. <laughs> Maybe if I'll take a picture before and after, you can see what I'm talking about. What a mess! I got stuff everywhere. So, alrighty, take care. God bless. I love you all. Hang in there. Fire is a production of IPS Media Works on the Onsig Radio Network of Stations.